Look, we're doing good. Uh-oh. Oh god, let me out. Okay. Oh shit, she's right there again! Oh, she's a monster. She's a fucking monster. Okay, we may just have to eat it here. Oh god. Oh fuck! Oh my god. She is powerful. Okay, she is very powerful. Alright. <laughs> this will be challenging. Alright, new tactic. New tactic. Alright. Oops. Hoop. When we had last left the prisoner bound by prophecy, a dead body of a man was discovered in the wilderness in the swamps outside of Sedanin. It was the body of the local taxman, Processus Vitellius, and on him was some were some tax records that the prisoner br brought back to the census and excise offices, where Socutius Urgala asked them to investigate the strange murder. For you see, although this man was murdered, all of the money that he had collected remained on the corpse. After some investigating around town, did the prisoner find the culprit? It was one foreign Gilneth, who fessed up to the crime willingly saying that in fact Processus was wrongfully extorting the local populace for much more money than was necessary, and was spending that extra money on his own person. However, it was quite the quandary, and the prisoner decided to let Foreign Gilneth off the hook, and Foreign Gilneth provided Processus's ring, and the prisoner brought that to his lover the lighthouse lady and she was happy and gave the prisoner some healing potions Secutius forgot about it entirely this is the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind welcome back it's Morrowind Mondays baby Woo! there we go <laughs> any good, time good. now alright let us head on out now some folks did bring up Either, I think I do actually have it enabled. It's just I've turned it down a fair bit, right? To be maybe roughly double what it is. Uh, talking about distant terrain or whatever it's called, <laughs> technically. But I think I've only doubled it from what it originally is. And I have been debating turning it up, but I kind of, I don't know. I kind of like this distance. I'm not sure. And also, it's probably a lot better for performance, especially as we move into Tamriel rebuilt territories in the distant future, right? Whenever that comes up, because there's a lot of, I don't know what you'd say, density to the decor and all of that around town. Anyway, you know what? I think it's a perfect time to go over and shake our fucking booty inside of Adam Asardis, right? I think it's about time. Here, let's see how we fare against these foul bastards here. Also, let's turn down our effects volume, because fuck me, that was loud as shit for me. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Good. I do like voices to be fairly loud and easy to recognize what they're saying. I don't know. Even if it is kind of unrealistic. For whatever reason, I like it. Alright. Take some of that luminous rasula. There we are. Good, good, good. Alright. Did we need to speak with you anything else about about Vodunusius like Minutius or whatever his name is let's see oh my god I've forgotten again to increase the font size good god alright Jesus Christ <laughs> please someone leave comments in this week's video so I don't fucking forget again to increase the font size cause I'm so dumb I'm gonna forget to do it again <laughs> I can't believe this. I keep meaning to increase the font size so it's more eligible for you, gentle viewers, and I just keep fucking forgetting. I <laughs> this keeps happening. Anyway, here, Vadunius Nucius. Oh, yes, he steers business my way, and I do him a little favor now and then. Poor fellow, I don't think he's happy here on Vardenfell. Well, he's gone now, gone forever. All right, see if we wanted him to smuggle any of that sweet sugar out of the province. Maybe we'll have been the time. 
Or is he actually, I forget, maybe he doesn't even specify, but does, is he just leaving Vardenfell for the mainland? Or is he leaving Morrowind altogether? I can't recall. Dude, do you think if he is, oh, will he show up in Tamriel Rebuilt shit? Is there reactivity there? Is there reactivity in Tamriel Rebuilt? I think there is, right? I'm almost positive I remember seeing information that said as much. Anyway, let's go on down here. Dude, it didn't even occur to me that we might see him again. That is so wild. All right, taking some shroomages. Dude, look at the textures on these shroomages. Oh, dude, I'm loving this AI generated mod stuff. It's beautiful. It's gorge in a major way. Oh, really get a look at these. Dude, I can't wait to see Quama eggs and what it does for them, right? I'm stoked. Let's see, take all this. Good, lovely. Okay, it's such a it's such a subtle change as well, but I I don't know. I find myself appreciating it so freaking much. I don't know. Do do people who haven't played original Morrowind still appreciate it to the same effect, or do you just prefer something a lot with a lot more fidelity, right? That looks a lot more I don't know, modernized. Like I'm not knocking anybody if they prefer it that way, right? That's sort of the joy of of Morrowind. Is that so? <clears throat> excuse me. It's so like customizable via mods and all that. Just single player games, or maybe even just games in general, right? But definitely single player games. Would never dare think of knocking anyone for playing it a different way from yourself. Difficulties and all that stuff. You know, the, the difficulty conversation seems to just always come, come up. And as someone who typically plays games on like harder difficulties, if anyone's like ragging on someone for playing it on a lower difficulty, Fuck off. Especially a single player game? Like, yo, fuck off. Let people be in fucking peace. Damn. Alright, let's head on up in here. Speaking of which, before we do this, let me just double check that our difficulty is in fact, yeah, a hundo. Alright. Let's expect the worst. Die. Oh shit, already. Okay. Boom. Look, we're doing good. Uh-oh. Oh god. Oh god, she's fucking getting me big time. Oh god. Oh fuck! Oh my god. She is powerful. Okay, she is very powerful. Alright. <laughs> this will be challenging. Okay. I was hoping we would be able to get the initial hit off. Oh god. Oh god, let me out. Okay. Oh shit, she's right there again! Oh, she's a monster. She's a fucking monster. Okay, we may just have to eat it here. Oh, you dickaroo! Oh, gosh, you're such a dickaroo. All right, new tactic. New tactic. Here we go, I'm ready. I'm ready. Look, we have to think carefully now. All right. Oops. Down we go. Oh, shit. I don't know why I thought that would even hit. Oh god. I'm running and gunning. You will suffer greatly. Whew. Whew. Okay. Look, this is good. This is skill. This is a champion maneuver. Oh, right in the knee. Boom. Oh, the Skyrim special. What have you got? The slave key, of course. All right, good. Let's take the money. Should we take anything else? Definitely, let's grab some boots. Let's see, how about a chitin dagger? I mean, I guess we could just pawn all this off. We may as well take it all. There we go. Do a quick save, good. All right, what else have we got here? We could take some trash if we really want to. There's like nothing hidden under this, right? No, that's good. Oh, whoops, we flipped the bucket. No way to flip it back. All right, anything else around here? Man, is it just me or is it like parts of the game like extra loud this time? Did I change my audio set? I probably did. Cause you know, I'm still fiddling around with audio settings and trying to perfect them, right? I noticed that in the past week, 
I feel like I got a better grip on him, but I was still like, like the highs were really high. I feel like on my my personal microphone audio. All right, let's see. I cannot rest. Let's see if I go all the way over here. Any dice? Nope. Let's go on outside. Rest for an hour. Lovely. Oops. Whoops. 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 Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Hang on. I gotta move my mouse. Oh, I gotta move my mouse. Oh god. Oh god. Hang on. I'm like colliding wires and everything. Oh my gosh. Oh. There we are. Okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> All right. Good. Let's enter stealth mode again. Head on down here. There we are. Good. Let's see. It'll be funny. We come out of here after slaying them all and freeing all the slaves. <laughs> the guards arrest us. They get mad for busting up their little ring. <laughs> their little arrangement that they had. <laughs> Good lord. How about you lose another point in marksmanship? <laughs> you fucking fetcher. Jesus. Alright. Hang on, you all. I'll be right back for that. I'm gonna clear out the area real quick. Or, I don't know about real quick, but I'm gonna try and clear it out as best of my ability. Let's snipe the shit out of this man. Boom. That is not escape. Now, this guy's the caster lord, isn't he? Yeah. I remember you. I remember you. You're gonna untouch me, aren't you? You're gonna untouch me. Shit, look at him come up here. Fucking pervert. Okay. Oh god. Oh god! Don't touch me! Ah! <clears throat> Fuck! Oh. Nailed him. Nailed him. Turn into robe butt. Okay. Let's take the rest of this. Ooh, I got a common robe. Should I wear it? I look like such a monk wearing it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm into that look. Alright. We'll take the rest. Yeah. Now you're just a fucking diaper. Okay. Let's see. Anything else around here? Oh, whoops. All right. It is wild not playing with the graphics and sound overhaul because the caves are a whole lot easier for me to parse. Not only are they brighter, but the textures aren't like fucking with my eyeballs. <laughs> right? Okay. Here we go. Our little secret. But this is the loop around, isn't it? Yeah, maybe we, we won't go this way just yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the authored path. Why not? We'll have some fun with it. Look, isn't this fun? What fun we're having. Okay, but we should go back here and rest. Jeez, if ever I can. All right, here we are. Rest. Lovely. Okay. What's my debilitation at the moment? Oh, right, yeah, stunted magicka. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We very well could have fared decently against that asshole, you know? Could have done. Okay, let's head on over this way. And... Oh shit, now I die. She's running at me with the chitin dagger. Alright. Boom. Okay. Oh shit. Look, we made up our losses. <clears throat> oh shit. Whew, I almost fucked up the kiting. <laughs> Alright. I am kind of enjoying how crucial kiting is right now in this early game marksman build, right? Okay. My only concerns are running out of ammunition this early on, right? Because we don't have a huge supply of it. <laughs> right, that's always always the danger, I think. Especially if you if you don't know like how to properly build a character, you're just going to be missing your shots so, so much. It's going to be such a problem. Okay. I forget. I think we got all the banditos, right? That's all of them. Now all that's left are, like, monsters and shit? Wildlife? I think? I'm not sure, though. Okay. Well, let's look around here. Look around, poke around. Got some bottles, crates filled with, ah, palongus. Some skoom skoom. Delightful. Should I take the clothes? I mean, I can sell them, right? I can sell them. Let's see. Yeah, we'll take all that. Why not? That sweet, sweet sugar. Good. Over here, we'll take some money. Seven gold pieces. There we are. Take all these. 
And what is this? A steel staff. Dude, I love that OpenMW just openly reveals to you, like, you have this option to toggle on or off. And I love that it lets you have, like, range and attack speeds and all of that, right? I very much enjoy that. What a cool feature. Anything to make stuff less obscure for players, right? Even if, even if you already are familiar with the game, it's just it's just fun to see the extra stats, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm kind of like a, a stats person. I enjoy seeing it all. All right, we'll take all that. That's the good booze. Over here. Even though I don't like to min-max to a major degree, it's just kind of nice to have it around, you know? It's just kind of nice. Okay, should we get some light armor going on? I kind of enjoy our newt scale, and I'm pretty sure it's better. Oh, it's equivalent. Huh. I mean, should we be a, a light armor dude this time around? Oh, shit, I don't know. I mean, I definitely... Surely I cannot get through this game now using my favorite set of armor, right? If we're going to have these self-imposed restrictions, you know? I probably will not be able to get through all this without without advancing our armor, right? That said, it is roughly equivalent, right? Let's wear that. Yeah, fuck the Imperial Newt Scale. Chitin for life. Oink, take all that. Restore strength, that'll be very useful for if we run into some Bone Lords. Oh, fuck me. Wow, yeah, that's a... That's a big point. Jesus. We need to find, like, a restore strength spell ASAP, don't we? <laughs> That's going to be such a fucking problem. <laughs> if we won't have, like... Like, do I want to use custom spells for that? I don't know. I mean, if we need to, but it would be fun to try and avoid doing it, right? Okay. Let's see. Anything good up here? Like I said, I feel like our only custom spell will be for traversal. Right? That seems good to me. Rapid traversal. Particularly through areas we've we've been before. Okay, well, let's head on up in here. Should I rest up? I think so. Good. Let's do another quick save just as well. Oh shit, I should have picked it. Eh, what can you do? <laughs> Actually, you know what? You know what I can do? We can do something. Boom. I'm going to pick it. <laughs> Look at that. Alright. Let's get the apprentice pick. One more use remaining. Come on, big money. Fuck me. Alright. Come on, big money. Oh, finish my attack. I'm attacking the lock. Ugh. There we go. Maybe that's what the picks are in Morrowind, right? It's not a graphical limitation that they only look like little chopsticks or whatever. <laughs> That's just what you're doing. You're just sticking a, a metal rod in there and just grinding up the interior of the lock and hoping for the best. <laughs> Though I'm pretty sure that's a surefire way to completely fuck yourself over, right? <laughs> I think that just ensures that it'll never fucking open. Okay. Here, should we get a, a torch going? I think so. Let's get some torches and some, some roleplay, huh? As we approach these darker sections. I think that'd be fun. All right, let's see, let's roll on back up here. Good. And then we'll take that like extinguished torch as well. There we go. Good, good, good. All right. And you know, also I do think Morrowind with how, with how like in depth all of the like formulae and shit are, with how rolls and all that stuff are calculated, I think that does also lend Morrowind to being more focused on, like, being a stats game, right? But that said, of course, it, it gets super out of hand as, as stuff scales upward, but at least for the early goings, I, f I think it lends itself to that. Okay, whoops. Jeez, that's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> that's gonna be months later that I finally get used to that. Okay, can we actually just walk in all of this here? Nah, we gotta dive down over this way. I'm pretty sure there's, like, rats or something deeper in here, right? Oh, dear. There we go. Is that a new effect? 
Oh, look at that. Huh, you can perfectly clearly see r directly above you. Oh, that's such a neat and handy effect. Huh. Cool. I like that. All right. That's that's got to be new with like OpenMW, right? Okay. Anything else down and around here? I don't remember there being anything in the water, but who knows. Okay. Good. Let's get on up. Great. Uh-oh. Here's the rat Yalon. Oh. Okay. Can you actually hit me from there? I can hit you. Oh, fuck. I'm getting ratted on. Let's move up here. Get the fuck away from me. Alright, we'll wait for it to, like, path around. Wait, can it even path up here? I think it's directly underneath me, trying to chomp at me. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Come on. There we go. Shooting rats in a barrel. Claim our prize. Nothing. Okay. Up here. Good. I think with Oblivion, didn't they do away with that? To where no matter what, when you kill something, if you loot it, you'll always have something on it for you. Right? <laughs> okay, because, you know, admittedly, it is kind of a, a shitty feeling to just kill anything and then go to loot it. And there's... Oh! I get nothing from this. Okay. Thanks. Let's see. Now, where is our little thief ring here? Let's see. Natch leather left cauldron. Gold. Isn't it, like, under one of the shroomages or something here? Huh. Oh, I saw it. Did you see it? Oh, fuck. I've lost it again. <laughs> it's so hard to see it. Okay. We could just, like, scan all over Pixel Hunt. Oh, my God. It's like we're playing a fucking old Sierra game. Here, let's turn on the torch. Will this help me? Yo, do you think the fucking smugglers know that this fucking body is back here? Like, rotting and shit? I feel like this person just went back here and never came back. And, like, that's why they put up the fucking gate with the lock over that shit, right? That way no one else would go back. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. We're searching. Oh, there's the Luminous Rasula. Where was it? Didn't it pop up? Or am I tripping balls? I'm pretty sure... <gasps> oh, I see it. I finally see it. Okay. Do you see it, gentle viewer? There it is. Right there. Thief ring, baby. Uh, give me that. All right. Let's get all this. Would have been so nice of them to put the ring right inside of this, you know? Just stick it right there. <laughs> so it's so much easier to see. <laughs> okay. Like, dude, straight up. Give fucking, like, Adam Asardis a couple weeks. And, like, on the second Morndas, this place is about to be fucking haunted <laughs> by this person's ghost. Like, honestly, I'm surprised there's not a ghost here already. Look at this. They got the fucking shrooms growing up and everything. Okay, anything else around here? No, I think we're fine. Okay, let's continue our little expedition here. So far, no rando attacks, right? Not from the Dark Brotherhood, but from whatever. Another scrib shaking its sweet ass. Pauldrons. We'll take all this. Okay. I forget, what are we... Hmm. Right, yeah, we didn't actually even opt for an armor class to be skilled in. Which maybe is problematic? I don't know. Because I, my, my thinking was that us being at ranged mo most of the time will, will make it to where we don't really need to worry about it so much, right? We'll see, though. We'll see. Okay. There we are. Match leather boots. What is the 48 versus 47? Okay. That'll do. How do we look with this Natch Leather on? Maybe we'll try and get a full set? I don't know. I'm kinda down for it. There we go. 
Good, good, good. Okay. Anything else down and around here? Nah. Alright, up we go. I think there's at least one more rat. I can't remember, though. No, look. Yeah, this is the loop around. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Who would have thought when doing this that they would model every single dungeon in the future after that, right? No, I'm sure there such a thing existed in in Daggerfall. Surely. Surely there are dungeon loop, loop arounds in Daggerfall. Like, I, I've heard tale of Daggerfall's, like, labyrinthine, at times, dungeon design. But surely there is a loop around as well in those games. Or in that game. Okay. Let's do a quick save because I'm pretty sure we're going to get fish. Actually, we should probably heal. Right. There we go. Rest. Boom. Alright. Let's see what we get. Where will the fish be? The audio sounds a little bit different this time around, too. God, yeah, I even forgot about this second corpse. Like, how are they all dying? Do you think, do you think, like, this drowned one went looking for the other dude who got, like, I don't know, eaten by rats or whatever the fuck? And that's why they brought the saber and shit? Like, how are, <laughs> how are they dying? Fuck. Is this something, or is that just, yeah, that's just the world environment looking a little weird. Okay. Do they have, like, money on them or anything? No. Either that, or I can't see it. Okay. Yeah, huh. For some reason, I always thought that there were fish in here. Guess not. Rusted chest, though. Filled with an iron cuirass. Take it. And I guess we'll take the rest of this stuff, right? There we are. Oh shit, we're totally encumbered. Hmm, alright. Let's see, we should probably get rid of some of this miscellaneous junk. Right. Alright, let's see. Too bad we can't sort by, like, value or anything like that. Okay, what should we get rid of? Probably this clothing. There we are. Let's wear this shirt. How does this shirt even look? Oh, yeah. I like that. That's probably my favorite, like, common shirt in the game. This one? Let's see. Let's do a little bit of fashion show here. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It looks nice. Oh, it's got a lot of texture to it now, huh? Okay. All right. And then, what else should we do? How about... Let's get rid of this. Good. Okay. We're fine. Let's head on out then. Do a quick save. Lovely. Okay. Here we are. Now, do we dare, like, progress over to grab the super ring and all that? I don't know if I do dare. <laughs> I don't know if I dare to do that. You know? I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's roll on up here at the very least and help all the slaves out, right? Okay. Good, good, good. Hey, everyone. I killed everybody. Let's see. Let us use our apprentice pick. Heal up a bit as well. There we are. Boom. Got it in one. Hey, everyone. Why do you approach? Hey, Badargo. Do you have the key to these braces? Will you let me go free? I will. You have the key... Will you let me go free? Yeah, I will. <laughs> Is it supposed to be, like, so sing-songy? All right, there you go. Yes, Badargo is free. You are a good friend of Badargo. There you go. You freed me, Lyle Schnab. Sure thing, dude. And the rest of you? Yep, same, same. There you go. Anything new? Nah. Yes, I'm your guest. This scent is new. Okay. Cool. There you guys go. Oh, you know what would be awesome as well? It, it probably doesn't Sweet do this. Skooma. But it would be wild if, like, Tamriel rebuilt. Like, as you freed slaves, maybe they appear elsewhere in the game. Like, is there some other bigger Twin Lamps Operation HQ in Tamriel rebuilt locales? 
that would be like fucking rad as shit. Because I always felt like for as big of a issue politically the the slave problem is, right? Within like the wider world lore, the twin lamps are so underserved, right? As far as like a, a faction you can member up with, right? And there's such cool shit, like, the fact that the Duke's daughter is, like, one of the head operators or the head operators behind the twin lamps and all that shit. I don't know. I'm super into it. Okay. Let's head on out over Let's this way. Hear it. There we go. My patience Good. Is and we'll pawn off several of our bits of loot loot here. There we go. Oh, right. We probably should stash our... Our narcotics right here. Good. Cool. Look at all that fucking sugar we've got already. Fuck me. All right. Hey. You've piqued my interest. Please, share your thoughts. Let's see. I want to do a little bit of bartering, dude. Okay. You're still fucking filthy rich, so how about you take some of my shit here? How about a halberd? Or a cool saber? A steel staff? Chitin daggers as well. There you go. Oh, do I want to use this left bracer? It does actually have a better armor rating. And it's quite lightweight. Okay, sure. Get rid of this. There we are. Should we get rid of all of our clothing? I think so. No sense in keeping it. Okay, let's see, what's our soul at? Yeah, we're fine. Get rid of these as well. Hmm. Anything else I want to dump? I don't know if I want to get rid of the pillows, honestly. <laughs> oh, our, our Shane. That stuff's completely useless. Okay. Yeah, great. Good, good, good. Let's turn it up to 200. Do you think we... Do you, do you think we dare? Do we dare? Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Okay, it's not going to happen. Let's go down to 190. Come on. Huh? Come on. There you go. There you go. I knew you'd see the light. <laughs> My time is precious. All right, so look at that. There's a ghost quick. there. Weird. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's grab all this shit again. Jeez, you were just totally, like, spying on me. What the fuck? Indrelli Rathreon? What do you even do out here, huh? What do you even do? Talk about necromancy. Latest rumors. Have you noticed for all its proclamations about protecting the rights of property and preserving law and order, the Imperial Legion does little enough to capture and prosecute abolitionists? That's a bit hypocritical, don't you think? Little secret. What are the most dangerous places in Morrowind? Well, probably the Ash Vampire Citadels, right? Y'all are all about that stuff lately. My trade? I'm a commoner. I do whatever needs doing. Cooking, cleaning, building, baking, making, breaking. And, by your accent, I can tell you are an outlander. Since you're new to these parts, perhaps you'd like to share a little local lore. Okay. Specific place. Oh, okay. This could be useful. I don't know if we heard this. Not much here. Aurelius Trade House. The Census and Excise Offices. That's the Coast Guard. No, we definitely heard that before. Someone in particular... Yeah, okay. Nothing... Nothing special that you've got to say to me, right? Oh, here we go. Little advice. Some rough customers come into town now and then for supplies. I think they might be smugglers and bandits holed up locally. Be doing a public service to clean them up. And might find yourself some nice loot in the bargain. In the bargain. Okay. Well, don't mind me. Just taking my illegal shit. Okay. I'm debating whether or not we should keep the sugar shack going, but we might want the money? I don't know. Like, early on? Right? We could always just buy it back. I'm pretty sure OpenMW doesn't change the fact that you can just to return to a vendor and buy up all your shit, right? That you sold, like, eons and aeons ago. Right? Should be fine. Okay. Let's see. Let's wait until... Let's just wait four more hours. Right. There we go. Good. Okay. So now, our next order of business should be to head out. I don't know. I always like going on foot. 
I don't know about you, gentle viewer, but I love always just traveling out on foot rather than via Silt Strider directly to Balmora. So I think we're going to do that. We can hit up a few of the Pelagiad quests as well, right? Seems like a good-ass plan. Okay. Let's see. Let's head on over here. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Like I said before, we'll keep these first few fairly short, and then we'll, we'll get them longer as we're going in. Probably around number seven, something like that. I don't know. We're eyeballing it. But yeah, that seemed good. We did a whole last dungeon, got a whole bunch of loot, freed some fucking slaves. All good shit, right? Oh my gosh. So when next we come back, we will head on out over to Pelagiad and do a few quests there. We'll definitely do the like, what's it called again? Technically, it's the Beauty and the Bandit, right? Maybe we'll do the one with the, the Guar on the way. Is that over there? I can't quite remember for sure. I know there's like a piece of Guar out there, but I can't remember if that's a Guar with a quest. I don't know. Seems like good shit we should do. All right. Well, when next we come back, we will continue toward Pelagiad. Until next time, please take care of each other.